Oh yeah, time to make another video. Welcome back to the whole project. I'm gonna ask a favor of you guys. First thing, right off the bat here. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. <clears throat> We're getting close to a thousand. It'd be really cool if we were, you know, if we made it there. So click that subscribe button, if you would please. We'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway, enough of that crap. Got that out of the way. So, let me tell you a story. I bought a little gauge kit for the old bingo here, the 79 El Camino, and don't like them. I started recording a video on it. I don't like the gauges. Uh, so we're gonna go backwards in time, and I'll show you a couple snips right here. Got her all doped up. Doped. Got the dope. Oh, beautiful. It needs an extension. The body of this is too fat. Boy, this has just turned into a real fun evening. No, this has got to be oil pressure here. This is probably coolant, which is run by wire, apparently. Huh interesting I didn't realize when I bought those gauges that they were not mechanical gauges and the more I tried working with them to use them I guess make them work the more I disliked them uh, none of the fittings were correct for the coolant temp sensor and the kit didn't come with any sort of adapters or anything like that the uh, oil sending unit wouldn't fit where I wanted it. So I did the right thing and just ran down to O'Reilly Auto Parts and grabbed a set here. Some guys like these, this Equus brand. I've never really had an issue with them. They're not too bad. But the main thing was I wanted all black with a black bezel and they're really not that easy to find. That was really one of the only reasons why I bought this other set that we're gonna pull out of there and send back to the amazing website. Uh, so as you can probably tell, I don't know We've got the distributor out already uh, and all that stuff. We've got to work on, I'll probably just leave this coolant temp sensor where it's at. I don't know yet. I'm either going to use that spot. I'd prefer not to uh, run something up across the manifold or across over to here. So we're probably going to use this spot. And then I can run it across and hide it in this existing loom that's already here. And then buzz it across the firewall along with the uh, <clears throat> oil pressure line. Which, this has the dreaded plastic line in the kit. So we snagged the copper line. Boy, that stuff's getting expensive. It's like 17 bucks for this little, this little kit here. I, couldn't hardly believe that. Um, so, anyway, yeah. That's where we're at. So we're going to bust this kit open. Throw the other kit back in the box. And install this kit. Now, I did have a thought. I don't know if my thought's going to work. Probably not, because... Well, you guys know how it goes. You come up with these ideas while you're at work and think, oh man, I found a solution to that problem. And then you get back to the shop and you're like, shoot, that's not going to work. Anyway, here's what I was thinking. To hold these down, which those aren't going to be there, I was thinking I could slip something through under here something tasteful 
wrap it up around and just tie it across the top of the gauges I don't know like maybe a, a black ribbon or something like that then I don't have to stick anything on this something will be holding it down and then I'll run the wiring and stuff in a little loom down along the side over there and take it up onto the dash it's about the cleanest way that I can do it with what we've got so yeah anywho that's where we're at and I'm gonna bust open this package get the copper line out and we're gonna get that set up up in the engine bay for the oil pressure sensor which y'all just seen me do on the Cadillac and if you didn't you can go back and check that video out and oh I also brought down the old Edelbro Edelbroken for the Cadillac when we can make it that far and so yeah we'll just don't mind anything going on back here that's coming up in another video um so we'll grab these gauges out of here let me get this other package opened up and we'll get to uh routing this all right i think we've got a spot picked out to drill our hole which it's gonna be right here there's already a split here and it's plenty below the booster to where it's not going to hit anything on the back side and I think that's where we're going to go through and then we can just route them up over the <coughs> go up over the column and stuff so I think that would end up coming out somewhere down in here which should be okay get a little grommet and throw in there and then uh, be all right okay I lied there's a uh, steering cable or whatever it is I don't know what it is come on see the black wire it goes up through next to that thicker black cable I think that's the speedometer cable it goes to the gauge there's a grommet right next to that and I was able to just pop it from the other side so let's go see how we did out there Whew. that's tough to get in and out of there when you got a hoist arm in the way should be yeah right here right through that grommet there and then maybe I can get it stuffed in through there or poke another hole possibly that'll allow me to now i don't know if that thing will hog enough to let that bushing through there or not Come on, baby. Come on. <clears throat> so close. There we go. I tore that a little bit, but now we can pull that through. That'll work out nice. We can sneak it over this way. And just kind of run it across you know what I mean I'll have to pull a little more through which that makes sense to be stuck on the brake pedal Once we get this over where we want it, we 
then we can go ahead and yeah that should be fine just like that we'll go ahead and plunk it in right there should be good then we just got to do our oil line okay got a socket definitely not uh, the correct one but it works you know Pull that guy out of there. She was broke anyway. Get rid of that thing. Let's see if this is the right one. Nope. Let's see if this is the right one. Yep. Put a little of our schmooze on there. You guys, any anybody you know a daisy climber? <clears throat> I don't. Currently calling me though. Not a clue who it is. Okay, we'll tighten that down. Old daisy climber. Sounds like a <laughs> sounds like a fake name, doesn't it? Snug that old girl down. <sighs> Throw a little more schmooze on the other. Remember, route this stuff under things that, you know, you might end up taking off before you want to take this off. Like, you know, the carburetor and things of that nature jam that in spin her down snug this up give her the old snug lies the coolant temp has been officially routed and if we're lucky if this loom's not too full already we can try to jam it in with that which honestly there's a few wires here that we could get rid of like pretty much all of these none of this stuff's hooked up to anything it's just kind of there you know what i mean from the old carb it don't need it it don't need it i say but, I suppose we'll leave it there so it looks messy and all that fun stuff. But we'll try to jam our coolant temp line in here with it. At least that's hooked up to something, you know? Not just wasting a wire loom and whatever, you know. There's a uh, 5.3 liter LS for sale right now on the old Facebook Marshit place that comes complete with harness and ECU engine's got like 122,000 miles on it. It's got a video of it still in the truck. He hasn't pulled it yet. For 600 bucks. That's not bad. There. That's jammed in there. Okay, well, we got our sealant on this. And let's go ahead and start getting our oil line ran here my arms probably right in your way 
get that threaded down there. And give her the old snug. That ain't going nowhere. And for our next trick, this is always fun. This is always the fun part. Trying to get our line in here. And seated. Just give her a shove. You'll feel it when it seats in there and kind of hits bottom. Let's go ahead and swing this over here because that's where we're going to be running it. <laughs> Tighten her down. And now, we're just gonna run it through that same grommet down there. And then go inside and fish it through. We're gonna go over the speedometer, the uh, throttle cable. And then we can Start feeding it inside. Right there. There it is. Ah. We'll come out and see how we're looking out here. And we'll kind of just keep feeding it in. We're gonna run this back along the firewall there. I'm sure that probably hit the floor, huh? Yep. And we'll kinda run that back. Up and down. I didn't want to go behind this loom here just because I didn't want this at a super tight bend there. And we'll grab some more fittings here. And I brought down some loom. We'll throw in the cab here. Uh-oh. I just threw my little fitting. Son of a gun. Where do you suppose that went? Somewhere I'll never find it again. You guys see it anywhere? I don't. She gone. Come here, you little devil. Ha! Got it. Okay, we kind of got these. We got them up over a bracket down there. And then they're gonna run, bless it. They're gonna run together up to our gauges up here. And I might cut a little bit off this oil line. I could probably cut it back here. And, uh, and it would be more manageable or I could make a coil down there and kind of tuck it. Let's try that, see what that looks like. There, that's not too bad. That way if you had to pull the gauge out for anything, you still have you still have some room to pull it out. So let's get that hooked up to the gauge and then we'll finish tucking that. And then we gotta hook up our charging, and then we gotta find a headlight um, power to hook our gauge lights into. Not bad. It'll look better when we get uh, 
everything's situated in a loom and stuff on it. I got all three of our bulbs. <clears throat> we're gonna tie these all together. And then we're gonna run a, uh, with heat shrink tubes. And then we've got plenty of wire up on the rack. We're just gonna make some pigtails to run down. Ooh, that doesn't sound very good. So let's go ahead and get all three of these. together here I think I can fit them in a red I might have to strip these back a little more or I could go to the bigger size let's do that we got a blue we got a blue here I think we're gonna strip those a little more just to be on the safe side Okay, we took a little bit more off of those. Just because the tips were real short. And I wanted to make sure that they got in the solder the way that they're supposed to. Slip this on. And then we'll cut off a chunk of our red. No specific length, just grab the chunk. Strip that down. Boy, it's no noisy tonight. And if you can see, inside there all those all the wire is in the solder joint i'll normally shrink the outside along with the inside it kind of holds everything in place Good and melted. I know it's probably hard to see on camera, but that, my friends, ain't going nowhere. Rinse and repeat on the other side. Nailed it. There we go. This is gray and not black. I didn't have any black, small enough. I had bigger black. But I like went with the smaller black, the smaller gray. Boy, when you're good, you're good. I didn't even measure those out. I just pulled wire and cut. All right, so now we can put the bulbs back in, route our wires. Strip these other ends quick. And then we got to run wires for the uh, uh, charging system too for the gauge. So, okay, well, those are stationary for now. So I can get wire links. These are for lights. The two running down there already are for charging for the voltmeter so all I need to do is figure out oh, just magneted to my test light all I gotta do is figure out uh, which one's got key power and then uh, find a ground shouldn't be too bad okay let me find a ground here normally a 
seat bolt will work or I don't know something up in here this bolt would work right here put that on there ouch make sure you hit your head on the steering wheel that normally helps out pretty good too let's see what do we got up here turn signal tail lamp that would be good for uh the lighting what's this fuse here dead still dead that might work for our power here's power accessory that's on all the time That's a 20 amp fuse. I don't know what that is. Battery, that's on all the time. Battery, that's on all the time. Courtesy, radio, power accessory, that's always on. There's an accessory there. Okay, we could use that accessory. Let me grab a spade connector here. No. All right, we're gonna cut these down a little bit. Cut that one there, and sure, give them a strip. These strippers are terrible much prefer the higher class ones and we'll go ahead here and we'll put a spade this spade should fit right in there yep so we'll put our hot one on there oh what do we do leave it in there yep sure did we got her though have no fear give her a good squeezing <sighs> got it all right so that guy is gonna go right here in this accessory port like so and then the ground we got to find a good spot for him and then as far as the lights go now we got to find a power source for the lights Oh, there's my knob right there. Gauges, tail lamp. So that side's our, that's, why is that on? Oh, that's wiper. There we go. Lamps. So we will go ahead and struggle with these for a while, getting these up and over where they need to go. Where are you going? I told you to go this way. Well, come on. Have I ever told you guys that wiring is probably one of my least favorite things to do? Where are you going? Why won't you just go where all the other freaking wires have gone? Lord, come here. Nobody else has talked back quite like you are. And if I had two hands, 
That's what I thought. All right, leaving these a little loose over here. And then now we're gonna go up and over this wiring loom right here. Oh, I got a hip cramp. Oh, oh, I gotta walk that one off. Oh boy, whoo. Boy, those things are about enough to take you to your knees. Holy cow. All right, snippy, strippy, and crimpy. Where to put my other connector at? There it is. Jeepers, crimey. I knew I brought one. <clears throat> that didn't crimp for shit. Well, that'll pull out of there the very first time somebody removes it. Guaranteed. All right. Now, let's find the ground. Battery power. There's one right there. We can run them right with this ground. 100 bucks is I don't have an eyelet down here big enough or a ring terminal big enough for that. Yep, I don't. So, I just clipped them, and I clipped one to the ground, just so we can see what we got. We got a voltmeter. Let's see if we have lights. Yep. We got lightage. It's hard to see in the dark, between the light. But we've got lightage. And we've got voltmeter. Battery's getting a little low. And I don't have a super great ground down here either. But anyway, I'm going to have to get uh, some ring terminals that are big enough for that. For now, we're going to run some of this loom here. And... I'm not going to be able to start it up and check our oil pressure gauge either because i got to drop the distributor and all that still. And I'm running out of time. Faster than you can even believe. So let's measure out an approximation of how much of this we're going to use. We'll go up in there. We'll go a little extra. That looks pretty good, about like that. Get as much done as we can each week. But man, it just, time just goes flying by ya. This stuff is pretty nice. Not too bad. It's that stuff that you can open, make bigger if you need to. Let's throw this over here for now. All right, so I'm gonna wrap these wires and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. And I need to get ring terminals, just one for the grounds. I'll bolt it up with that other ground up under there. And our gauges will be done. Okay, well, there you go. She's all wrapped as much as I could get. We do have to just tidy up a little bit up here, which shouldn't be too bad to do, and then figure out a better 
mounting solution right now it's just kind of hooked in there which I don't know I don't really like but I couldn't get it to stay so I just kind of hooked it on there for now so I could get my wiring sorted out they're pointed too far down though there you can't really see them maybe bend the bracket a little bit I'm not sure make some more modifications we got to figure that out but for now that's where it's going to go and everything should work just fine it's hot oh look at that hair Whew. anyway that's going to wrap this week I know it's just a gauge install video nothing super thrilling or exciting but we've been working our tail off on other things that are taking multiple weeks to record so uh, you know sometimes you got to throw in one of these little shorter ones to accommodate for the bigger for the bigger projects but definitely appreciate everybody watching like I said if you haven't subscribed please do so help us get to a thousand It'd be really cool we're getting close we're over 800 you guys can see that uh, thanks for watching we appreciate you very much we'll see you on the next one